I started this series about six weeks ago and I went into this with the view that I knew quite a lot and what was hot within the scene. But what I found is that old Socratic thing that the more I've learnt, the less I actually do know and the more I have to learn. Tom Miller is the perfect example. I'm embarrassed to say at first I didn't know his name. I had seen his work around Bristol in different spots, but I didn't quite know that it was one person. But now I've had to update my Mount Rushmore because this guy absolutely punches. So uh, with the update, we have Miller, Suffer, Silent Hopo, and Cheo. Miller is truly next level with skill, talent, and perception. Just look at it. The amount of time I stopped just to look at the art was the most yet. I'd light up my spliff and I'd just look around the new piece I found for like new things and just objects and be blown away. This work by Miller really speaks to me and it isn't because I've tried psychedelics before. It is just the work, I'd say. And the time he takes on each piece is phenomenal and the finished product just makes me so happy to live in Bristol. I happily travel anywhere to collect one of these pieces and we all know the turnover in Bristol can be really fast so I've got to get on that bike anytime a new piece comes up, especially from Miller. With a seemingly unending spectrum of colour, diversity of pieces and absolute beauty, Tom Miller is definitely one name that stands out. I hope you guys can love and enjoy all these pieces represented in the video. I managed to meet Miller briefly when he was working in Stokescroft on Love Vortex and honestly he's a nice, friendly and fun guy. He answered anything I asked and plus he was making sure I was okay and making sure like what I was doing was cool and asking about myself and he's a really friend friendly guy like I said and in the DMs when I was making this video I was looking for pieces and I'd, I'd send him a, a video or an image and he'd go yeah that's there that's no that's not there and I was making sure I was going to the right spots and that I was cool like honestly super super friendly like how could I say the, the talent matches his personality I think that's the best way to put it there is a great video he has made and embedded onto his website and it is the first video I can reference with the artist's face in it. It is on his about page and I'll include it in the description below so you can just click the hyperlink. He's a lively, energetic kind of guy, usually seen smiling, which you can see in the video. He really focuses on positivity which rings through his character and he's an inspiring guy to learn about and his works are too. I'll end this bit with a response. When he was asked to describe himself, he said, human. Also, I really like his process, which I'll talk about in a second, which I think he described it as the spinning chair technique. Now, you shall see. Miller draws from a few styles, one being the Baroque style, which used contrast, movement, exuberant detail, deep colour, grandeur and surprise to achieve a sense of awe. You're probably wondering why you hadn't heard me say awe yet. Well, there we go, it was building. He is a well-studied and versed artist and he studied drawing and applied arts at the University of West of England. You can tell that he is a man who has had his talents and his, uh, his abilities meticulously crafted to what we see now. While I've only just found out about his name, I believe he's been blessing the streets for about seven years. I read in an article, and then I seen in the video, uh, his bedroom studio and his technique of the spinning chair, and oh, it is incredible, honestly. Any medium and this guy would deliver, but he chooses street art quite frequently, and I really, really enjoy that, because it's the public gallery that's displayed to all of us. He could be locked away behind the door of some rich art collectors for people who only know grand knowledge of the arts but instead he's blessed a mucker like me and the rest of us and I'm forever happy for it. Just to be clear, when he's in his bedroom studio he's on a spinning chair with works and canvases around him he's spinning around doing time on one, moving on to the next, just working his way through. Now you take this piece here. This is incredible, it's got his distinct psychedelic feel and style but then it's merged with Smack's amazing graffiti letters and Sled's ability to create like a cool figurine and it sticks out in the, the comic style, I really like the illustration of it and it just blends so perfectly. 
these three should like form the group which would be the equivalent of like Dre, Nas and RZA like just littering and covering the walls and just blessing the city it, wow. that's the, the other three I can see why them three work together let's say I find it hard to pick between what I, what I most admire the colours of the piece or the actual subject but both of them just go together perfectly it's such an amazing blend now I know what you're thinking, the man is a walking acid tub. Now it's hard to disprove this, but I will try. Because he remember he did say he was human, so we have to just trust him. Not only do I wish that I would have filmed or took the photo in landscape, but I wish I would have took a video of this. This was from a while ago, like like I said, but oh, I would have admired a good video of this one. Here's Miller's website. It starts with a picture which rotates to seven different ones. It's like a carousel of artwork. And the next page is his gallery, and you can see all of the stuff he's created, which is really, really nice. A little flick through the products, and there's definitely a print I want to buy, but the t shirt, I think that, that would go down quite well. I, I wear quite a lot of white tees. You see. This is definitely the print I'd like in the bedroom. First thing I wake up and see is incredible. And get a quote from him from any kind of space. It would be amazing to have something by Miller. I have him on Instagram and it's where I see the majority of his stuff digitally. You get to see more personality of him too, along with paintings, sketches, prints and various other designs. One of the most colourful and unique pages and it feels like each post is definitely something to just chill and enjoy and stare at for a minute. Definitely go and follow him now. I'll link his Facebook too because there's a lot on here and I found a couple of videos where it went one where he's being interviewed. It honestly shows a down to earth, humble, free soul. He mentions about seeing the world practically, never letting go of child, the childhood self, depicting experiences he's had in his works and focusing on the good stuff. Plus he makes more arm movements and hand gestures than a crip or a blood who is a rapper. He conveys great body language and I, I know what the good comparison is or what, how I can use a metaphor perfectly and it's got to be the psychedelic Jack Sparrow. That has to be the one. That, that fits, I think. I will add here that uh, I was collecting these pieces in St. Werberg's and I was coming down the hill from, from nearby the piece and as I come down the hill, I almost went straight into the road and there's a band coming like on a roundabout bit and it was totally my fault because I was going to go on the path but the bands are here and he stopped. But it was definitely worth almost dying. I would have looked like the guy in this piece here. What's really nice is there isn't a concentration of Miller's pieces as well. They seem to be spread out quite evenly. I've got two in Bedmont style, let's say, but they're in different spots. You've got one near the Nova, and then you've got one near the Garden Centre. You've got one in St. Werberg's, Eastern, Stokescraft, and Bath Road. And they're the ones I covered in the video. But over the years, they've been dotted around quite nicely. And again, it's good, because it gets us circulating and going about if you want to collect all the pieces and see some see some of Bristol it's definitely one thing to do like pick Miller let's say and go trundle around with a joint and enjoy the day like I said I'm willing to travel so wherever this gentleman wants to go and place a piece I'm a I'm a ride and I'll go and find it and collect it because again it, this is really really some artwork that speaks to me on like a philosophical and a, a, a spiritual level let's say I don't know why. Here we have another fine artist of Bristol, another amazing talent. I just love that the city produces such a variety of people that produce incredible pieces across the state. So I'm definitely learning more. And while I'm not classically trained or art trained, I feel like maybe that's the best way for it so I can connect more to an audience. If I knew like, like about brush strokes, I knew like everyone, every famous person within every style, maybe I wouldn't be able to reach out as much. Maybe I see myself in the pieces, not like the talent it takes to make them, but the actual subjects. I date this guy, the, the guy with the thing on his face and it's just like the head is like in the clouds. I mean, I mean, there isn't a better representation for myself, so I think maybe that's the attraction to it. But yeah, the colours, the vibe, just honestly. Thank you for watching the video. If you've managed to get to the end, I really appreciate it. Subscribe for more if you haven't already. And don't forget, go and follow Miller on everything if possible. But yeah, guys, look at it. Look at it. In awe.